Hey everybody, so um, I've gotten some pretty cool replies on the uh, Unity Answers website, so I thought I'd release a little update. This is a video of it, and maybe give a, couple, a little more instructions than, you know, I provided previously, although in this file, you know, I have provided several readmes and documents that hopefully help a little bit, but one issue that I noticed on the forums um, in, in, in regards to this project was you know the the trouble of picking up the key um, and in my video you could see that I had trouble previously picking up the key and I'll show you how to fix that really easy so I'll click on the key object here and it's this box collider that's what we need to point at with the main camera uh, and hit the E key to pick it up um, but it was just so small and I don't have a cursor set on this um, you can really see and I haven't added a cursor to this that's something that's actually pretty simple to do um, I could throw it in there for you guys at some point and it'll be easy to disable and whatnot but um, in any case all you have to do is you click on it and right here under box collider you can click on the size and you can just drag it up drag it out make it bigger and just make it a whole lot easier to pick up so now if I walk over to it and I hit the E key it's much easier <laughs> so that'll help quite a bit um, so I thought I'd get that out of the way so on to the new stuff. So if you see, like I always say, you know, this is just a demo room. It's just to show the what the scripts are functional, what what they can do that I provide with this. So um, I changed this texture to be a carpet, and then this is wood floor. So thanks to Fuzzfoss from the Answers Unity website, or Unity Answers website rather, uh, he hooked me up with a script that works. Um, for changing sound, so I thought I'd throw it, throw this video together to really show you guys how to set that up. So if you look under the scripts folder, there's now a walking sound script. So I'm going to click on my first person controller. I'm going to minimize all this so I don't have a bunch of stuff all up in my grill. <laughs> uh, just one sec. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw this walking script, walking sound script on there. So you'll see there's a couple different options. There's step wood, step carpet, step concrete, foot source one, foot source two, and a couple audio delay um, settings. So the first thing is we want to pick a source of where the audio is actually coming from. I'm going to make this really easy. I believe this should work. I'm just going to pick the first person controller. I'm going to make sure the first person controller, the sound's going to come off of him. If you wanted to, you could probably add some empty objects or some boxes, move them down at the bottom, name it left foot and right foot if you wanted to. Um, but just to keep it a little bit simple, I'm just going to put them both to first person controller. And then what I will do next is we need to make sure that we have an audio listener in the scene. Um, the standard first person controller that comes with the standard assets should have it, I believe, on the main camera. You see we have an audio listener, so that makes sure that we can actually hear sound when it's played. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and let's say that, let's focus on the wood sound right now. So we want to be able to have sound play when we're walking on wood and have it sound like wood. So the first thing you want to do is if you look at the walking script itself, I'm trying to think of what would be easier. Should I open up the script and show you guys or just do it here? Well, anyways, it's, it's going to look for a specific... Uh, for step wood, basically, <laughs> this is, yeah, this will make it easy. So, for step wood, all you need to do is you need to select how many sound files you have for, you know, the footsteps you're going to use for the wood. So, for this example, I'm just going to put two. I'm going to have two different footstep sounds. I'm going to go on my audio uh, folder here and look for foot, wood footsteps one and wood footsteps two. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to the carpet, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have two audio files. Now, I'm not sure if there's a limit, really, but I think you can pretty much just put as many as you really want to kind of change it up, keep it fresh so you don't hear the same foot, foot step sounds constantly while you're playing your game. But if we go in here and carpet foot step one, carpet foot step two. All right, so we have the sound selected. We have the audio source selected. 
and uh, pretty much, I believe, I uh, pretty believe that's pretty much it. I mean, I should be able to hit play, I think, <laughs> and then just go ahead and. Oh, see? I already messed it up. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, we're walking around. I don't know if you noticed. You can see that it's detecting that we're walking. Um, is the player walking? And you also see this thing called ground type. Now, this is really important. In order for it to detect that we're walking and play the appropriate sound, the different floor types have to be tagged. And that's probably where opening the actual walking sound script will help. So, let me get it open here real quick. Let it load up. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is where, in this part of the code, this is where it, we we're telling it basically what audio clips to play. Remember, we select, I selected two. I picked two different ones for carpet and wood sounds. But what about tags? So if I scroll down here, you're going to see um, it says, it basically this code says if our game object which is our first person controller hits something that has the tag carpet floor the ground type is one and then if we go up here to the code um, ground type one we'll see that it's gonna play the carpet sound so you can get more into this you can change the names of things you know instead of concrete or wood or carpet um, you can add more just you know I'm not gonna get too much into that it's pretty straightforward you're gonna copy paste you're gonna if I changed let's say I changed carpet floor I'm gonna have to go back up here into these codes and make into this pieces of the code and make sure that I change each little piece and name in there as well for it to work but in any case for carpet we need the carpet floor to have a carpet floor tag and the wood floor to have a wood floor tag so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this so if I click on the wood floor and then I'll look here where it says tag I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I don't you go ahead and click add tag then I'm gonna just click next to one of these um, size 2 we're gonna need at least three because we need one for the carpet and the wood so I'm gonna name this one wood floor and then I'm going to make another tag called carpet floor. All right, so now I click on the wood again, go back up to tag. And I'm going to make this wood floor. I'm going to click on the carpet floor here, select the tag, and click carpet floor. Now let's go ahead and try it now and see if it works. If not, I'm going to just have to start this video over when I figure out what I did wrong. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. right so definitely something's not right here so let me go back here and double check a couple of things you know this is why I, need, <laughs> I try to get help wherever possible doing these things because I for some reason am just not very good with I want to I'm gonna make sure it doesn't maximize on play Okay, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to kind of watch eyeball over here and see if it's actually at least detecting what kind of ground I'm on. Okay. My mouse is jumping all over the place. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me crank. I, I can hear it. I got some of my carpet floor sounds playing. And the wood's playing. Okay, I'm good. It's just really low on my computer right now. I think I cranked my volume down. But in any case, that should be all it takes to set it up. You're going to make sure your floors are tagged appropriately. You're going to want to make sure you have your audio sources for where the sounds of the footsteps are going to come from. You're going to want to make sure you have your audio files for the different types of materials you walk on and uh, make sure everything's tagged I already said that but yeah that I mean that should pretty much be it now I'm gonna go ahead and release this project file um, probably later tonight or worst case scenario tomorrow um, it's gonna have the walking script in there it's gonna have the scene as you see it here 
Um, the only thing it's not going to have, though, is it's not going to have out of time, so sorry, this is going to be a little weird. Um, so in any case, uh, the only thing this the, the project file that I'm going to release to you guys is not going to have is it's not going to have the audio files I used for the footsteps. Um, I'll put a link down below um, of where you can find those and download them for free and edit them or use them for yourself, but just so that website gets the traffic that they need and I believe it's part of their policy they don't want people you know sending these out for others to download and things like that so I'm just gonna keep it like that so you guys are gonna have to import your own audio files to use with the walking uh, script and uh, I mean that's per that should be pretty much it um, you know I have some other things in the, in the works in the future um, to add to this other things that I think would be very useful um, for this kind of game type. Um, I mean, you don't have to use this for a horror game either. Um, I mean, all we have here, honestly, is a dark room with a flashlight. You have a key, a door you can unlock, some papers you can look at, audio descriptions, and different sounds for floors you can walk on. I mean, you can apply that to any kind of game, any genre, really. Um, and, you know, you may not even be making something remarkably close to this, but, you know, uh, these scripts can come in handy quite a bit. I mean, it took quite a while for me to find some of these. Some of these I've paid to have done. Um, and again, I want to thank uh, Combat Dave for helping me get the uh, door and key designs done, uh, scripting wise, and also Fuzz Foss on the Unity Answers website for helping out with the uh, the different walking audio scripts for different you know floors you can walk on, which I think is. It's one of those little teeny things, one of those little, little added, just flourishes you want to put in your game to, you know, make it more immersive and just, you know, you don't want, you're, we're not ghosts in the game, well maybe you are, but, you know, most of the time you're going to want some sound when you're walking around. Um, Alright guys, well, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, programming wise, coding wise, scripting wise. Honestly, your best bet is to go to the Answers website. The only purpose of this is not to teach you how to code, but to share scripts that I've had made, had help making, and have had people completely make for me um, by answering questions on the website. So, you know, I just want to share this with you guys because it's taken a lot of time to even get to this point. Um, and I hope you enjoy. If you like it, please subscribe um, to keep updated on future releases of this little public project and you know just uh hit me up with some comments send me messages hope you guys enjoy all right bye